Hi and welcome back to Free Science Lessons. By the end of this video you should be able to describe what's meant by phylogeny and phylogenetics. You should then be able to interpret a phylogenetic tree. And finally, you should be able to describe the advantages of phylogenetics over taxonomic classification. So far on this topic, we've seen how organisms can be classified into different taxonomic groups. In the past, organisms were classified based on their observable features. However, biologists now try to include evolutionary relationships into classification. Using data from DNA and protein sequences, as well as examining fossils, we can see how closely related organisms are in terms of evolution. Now, the evolutionary relationships between organisms is called phylogeny, and that's an important definition that you need to learn. And the study of these evolutionary relationships is called phylogenetics. Okay, now we can represent the evolutionary relationships between organisms by using a phylogenetic tree. I'm showing you here the phylogenetic tree for six species of rodents. This is based on DNA sequence comparisons. Phylogenetic trees show us how different species can evolve from a common ancestor. There are a couple of features of phylogenetic trees that you need to understand. Firstly, time flows from the bottom of the tree to the top. So species further in the past are shown at the bottom, and more recent species are shown towards the top. Secondly, the branch points are called nodes. A node shows a common ancestor of the descendants from that node. So for example, the node shown by the green arrow represents the common ancestor of the golden hamster and the Chinese hamster. Two descendants from the same node are called sister groups. So using this example, the golden hamster and the Chinese hamster are sister groups. The brown rat and the house mouse are also sister groups. At the base of the tree, we see the common ancestor of all the species shown on the tree. So in other words, all of the species on this tree can trace their evolutionary history to this common ancestor. Now the phylogenetic tree shows us how closely related species are in terms of evolution. For example, the golden hamster is more closely related to the Chinese hamster than it is to the deer mouse we can see that the golden hamster shared a common ancestor with the Chinese hamster more recently than it did with the deer mouse. Now phylogeny is extremely useful. Firstly, phylogeny can be used to confirm the classification of an organism by other methods, for example appearance. Secondly, phylogeny is not based on grouping organisms. In taxonomic classification, organisms are grouped into taxa, and some organisms do not fit neatly into a given group. Also, taxonomic classification treats the same taxon as equivalent. For example, daisies and canids are both families. The daisy family evolved around 70 million years ago and includes over 30,000 living species, whereas the canid family evolved less than 40 million years ago and only has 37 living species. By not grouping organisms, phylogeny overcomes these problems. In the next video, we look at the evidence for evolution.